So, what's the best way to build bots? It turns out it's with our new code analysis feature in the Automation 360 v.26 release. Administrators can use code analysis to set best practices with clear policies for enforcement. Bot developers can quickly check a project's status while in the bot editor and get detailed reports with guidance on how to remedy an issue. Here's an example. This is Jenny. She's a lead developer and is responsible for setting best practices for coding in her organization. And that means ensuring automations are maintainable, reliable, secure, and efficient. She does this with code analysis. To configure the feature, she navigates to administration policies, where she can edit and enable policies. Many rules are available to improve coding practices. This includes variable naming conventions, mandatory commenting, bot file size, error handling and catch blocks, and hard-coded values of various types. For this example, Jenny chooses to enforce the no hard-coded file path. She turns the rule on and uses severity levels to emphasize the criticality of the rule. The next new feature is for Jenny and Marcus, an RPA developer. A new column in the automation page indicates the highest severity violation found in the file, if the bot file has been scanned and has no violations, or if the file has not been scanned at all, meaning the code analysis has not yet run on the file. This enables all developers to understand the status of code analysis results for any file. Okay, so here's an example. The bot daily reconciliation has not been scanned. The version is collected, downloaded, and the code analysis report is reviewed. This bot has the same violation, no hard-coded file path. The code analysis status column is updated to reflect the high severity violation in this file. RPA developers like Marcus can fix code analysis violation using Workbench. He clicks the assistant accessible at the top right. Then he drills down using assistant to locate the violations and recommendations on how to fix them. In this case, that no hard coded file path violation is in the action on line one. The recommendation is to use a variable to set the folder or file path name. So after making that change, the assistant indicates the results may not be current because the file was changed. Marcus saves the bot to invoke code analysis and sees the violation is corrected. It's no longer shown within the assistant. This all adds up to better bots and a better bot building experience for administrators and developers. We've got more information on the v.26 release available at automationanywhere.com.